we're going to go, uh, we're going to continue through the knots, and we're going to go into what are the bent over Y's and the bent over T's. So anybody that's done a, uh, a PT session in the Navy, you guys probably already know what these are, but as a uh, CFL instructor, these are probably one of the exercises I've seen done uh, the most wrong, okay? So we're gonna slow it down and I'm gonna show you the bent over T's and the bent over Y's, okay? So the proper posture, uh, your feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, you're gonna kick that butt out just a little bit and you're gonna flatten the back so your body should be nice and straight but slightly hinged at the hips, okay? So for the bent over Y's, now imagine you're doing the YMCA, right? This is a Y, this is a T. So it's no different if we're bent over, okay? Now you're gonna bring those hands down together, thumbs are out, and you're taking that, that hammer grip, okay? So your, your palm is perpendicular to the deck. And then you're gonna come out, this is the Y, just like this, nice and slow, okay? When you get to the top, you should feel those shoulders squeezing and you should feel the mid back squeezing together. Now, I said that uh, I see this done wrong all the time, and this is how I see it. Just like that. They're flinging their arms up. You're gonna dislocate your shoulder, you're gonna tear joints, so don't fling those arms up just for the sake of doing the exercise quickly. Squeeze at the top. Nice controlled movement. Just like that. All right? Slow it down. If your CFL is, uh, is leading an exercise too fast, Call him or her out, say, hey, slow it down. I need time to do this exercise right and get the benefit from it, okay? The T, exactly the same movement, except it's gonna be a T. So you're bent over, hands are together, thumbs are out, and you come out to the sides as a T. Squeeze those shoulders at the top, feel that in the middle of the back, nice and slow, controlled movement, okay? Again, don't just fling your arms out. You're not getting any muscle engagement. You're using momentum. Nice and slow, get that squeeze at the top. Again, this doesn't have to be done just in PT class. You can do this at home. Get that mobility going. Get those muscles engaged. Just like that.